What's going on everyone? It's Greg. I'm back with some more Heroic Expedition and there's been quite a bit of little news recently and stuff that I would like to go over and cover today. Before we get into that, thank you guys for all the support. If you can, go ahead and smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Turn those notifications on and leave me a comment down below. Let me know how everything is going and how you're doing in the game. All those interactions will help me in the YouTube algorithm. So like I said, there's been a lot of little, you know, nuggets leaked here and there over the past few days. And there was also the Barton's letter from last week, which I did not go over in my video last week, which talked about the update. So we're going to take a quick look at a couple things in there that would probably be coming this week. But we're not going to go over that too much in depth. And then we'll go over the new heroes that are coming and the event that we got coming this week. So first and foremost, let's just kind of scroll through the Twitter a bit and see what we have that's been announced. Back on May 12th, we have Barton's letter, which we will go over in a minute. And then we got like a little sneak peek before they announced the heroes where we have this uh, Guardian Halberd, which is the um, artifact for the new hero, which again, the way they do heroes in this game is they use like the same general model for um, either a hero that go represents both or all three of Chaos, Forest and Ocean, or you have a model that represents Dark and Light. So we should generally be able to see, we'll probably see three heroes come out if they bring one out that's, you know, Chaos, Ocean, or Forest. And then we'll see two heroes when we have Dark and Light. That's, you know, a little different from some of the other games. And you got to think about it. That's going to make it a little bit harder to get those copies. And I really think, you know, the way they're going about this, you know, when they bring out these new heroes, it might be a couple months before, you know, even Wales might, you know, get those, you know, maxed out copies. Whereas Wales and some other games are able to get those heroes probably right around release time. At least get them up pretty darn high. I don't really picture that happening here. But we'll have to wait and see. So we got that little preview of the artifact. And then, you know, they had also you know previewed this little wolf picture and stuff. And they even showed a picture of them working on, you know, had a built a whiteboard with the wolf and stuff on it. And so this is where the wolf came into play. We got the picture with the three heroes. And they they are mounted on a wolf, and so I, you're not gonna be honest. I saw these. I mean, I understand the game is a little cartoony and stuff, but I mean, they just didn't scream natural four stars to me. Um, they look more like unnatural four stars, like they go with like the raccoon and other things. But you know what? I mean, I don't, I'm not really complaining. They definitely, you know, it's nice to get something, some new content in the game. Now, what we have in terms of previews for these heroes, we have Rider, which is the chaos version. It has three skills, gnawing tooth, wooden shield, and trace track. You know, wooden shield, okay, we probably got some kind of defensive thing there. I mean, these are tanks, so expect some kind of defensive type uh, moves. So not sure exactly what we're going to have in terms of the what those actually do, but we'll find out soon. We then have Oliver here, who has howling alarm, licking, wound licking, and protection determination. They did put out a video and which goes over the actual skills for oliver and it is actually looking pretty nice i mean he's they he can prevent or, or reduce dramatically reduce damage that you take as well as damage that you take from uh damage over time so think of it like it's a maybe possible possible light counter to margaret again oliver is going to be weak to margaret and we don't really know exactly how much reduction we're going to get from him we we'll have to wait until someone can build them up and check them out. And then we finally got a preview for the ocean version, which is, let's see, Lucas. I'm sorry, you can't really see that great. His moves are Call of the Wild, Domain Marker, and Guardian of Shield. Again, probably some kind of shield type thing going on there. We'll have to wait and see when we get the rest of the preview for the, the moves. So like I said, here was where they showed all of our skills. I'm not going to play that video. If you want to go check out the Twitter, you can go watch that. I, you know, I just described what those moves do. And then we also got a new update for the new event coming this week. And we'll go over that in a minute. So that is what's been going on on Twitter. As you can see, it's been pretty active, which is good to see. And we're going to start with, um, let's go over Barton's letter from last week. So we're going to skip over a lot of this because some of it's already out. And that's kind of what we got in this top. Um, portion here got the in working uh, we we got that common hero decomposition last week and they added the quest for the minus ruins now here's where we get some more interesting stuff 
what they had planning for last week, which should we should see this week, is option to filter heroes for stars, factions, and roles. So we should get some filtering options on the heroes, which is really good. Then we have some, you know, people complaining about the traps that kill the two random heroes, which obviously that's one of the game stoppers if you're hitting minus ruins and you hit that. That can very easily stop you in your tracks. And it does also doesn't, I agree with this person, doesn't really seem really random. It really kind of picks from the current team, which if you look at some of the other effects, they affect everyone. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know how they're doing this. You know, we'll have to wait and see. But they said, so they said we'll optimize it after expansion of minus runs. So that's interesting. So I'm look, sounding like they're going to, you know, add additional floors this week in this coming patch. So that should be cool. And then, you know, people were complaining about the mirror, which I got to say, you know, now that I am, I have a few heroes up there, you know, my Sylvia's got a nice block. Mirror's actually been pretty easy for me. So, you know, they probably still need to optimize it a bit and that's what they're going to be doing this week. So that's good. Then they had some stuff under consideration, which was, can we have a base design mode? Yeah. So I have a big complaint here. I keep accidentally clicking on different parts of my base and then you got to find some spot where you can press so that you can actually go back and collect like your uh, materials and stuff and so i definitely hope they do something similar to that so that you know I, I i'm not going in there to build i'm just going in there to collect my stuff so i don't need it to click on every little path and things like that all right then we got a request for adding bosses or you know like idle heroes marauders which i believe they got rid of if i saw correctly or is they're getting ready to get rid of them um and they're you know just talking about having a few extra rewards from their friends and, you know it's under consideration so that's interesting right now we can't really test it oh yeah here, here's my suggestion i put in last week on the discord you know i i feel like i need a way to be able to fight you know maybe some tribe mates or other people without having to fight them in the arena you know granted a lot of them i probably lose to but Especially in theory craft, if I just want to try some stuff out, I'm going to lose a lot of fights. And I shouldn't have to waste gems to, to buy more bite fights in the arena or risk my arena ranking just to try some stuff out. So we need a way to be able to fight other people without using, you know, losing anything and without having, you know, to cost anything. Next up, uh, someone suggested, let's see, add. Any plan to add, maybe add something similar to Muffley's Quest and Idle Heroes reset every month? You know, I could see this, you know, kind of like we had those initial challenges. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing something that's on a more monthly basis. I did notice that, you know, one of our support people in the Discord mentioned something in the Discord, I believe last night, where they don't really want this game to be a hoarding game. So we're not hoarding your materials waiting for events. So it'll be interesting to see what events they can come up with, you know, to avoid that hoarding experience. All right. And then finally, we have the not in planning. These are things that they said um, they are not going to do. Um, Mystic exploration is mainly based on intertribal cooperation and competition between tribes. Internal competition is not considered for the time being. I mean, that's understandable. Um, I don't think it would cause any issues, but I can understand that. I will say Mystic exploration is probably one of the most balanced modes in the game. It's definitely fun. You know, and I think we're getting pretty close to the point where, like, you know, our tribe, like, we might have to actually do some strategizing, you know, who hits what nodes and things like that, because you need to maximize how many nodes you can get rid of to increase the points. At least that's what I think it's based on. And right now, the competition is pretty fierce for uh, Mystic Exploration. Then uh, someone's saying when upgrading miners, they need to continue to give you resources. I, I don't agree with that necessarily. It looks like they don't either. You know, that's one reason why they have the gems option for completing your construction so you can skip ahead. Other than that, you have to wait. Just wait. It'll it'll come eventually. All right. Please make a way where we can exchange elixir to gold, vice versa. These are two different currencies, and that's what they say here, and they have different purposes. So it doesn't really make sense to make them interchangeable. You know, at that point, if they did do some kind of exchange, then they would just be interchangeable. So what's really the point of having two different currencies? So I, I don't really have a problem with this. You know, it gives you something to go for. If you need extra gold, you know, you go for gold in the prayer wheel or whatever. 
things like that. All right, so that covers the Barton's letter, and I know I'm kind of late on this. There'll be another one in a couple of days, but I, I really wanted to cover those things that are coming this week in the patch. So now let's move on over to the weekly update preview, which we got a preview of the event. It's called the Breeze Day Wield Outing. And it's going to start on Friday, of course. And we're going to get this currency. We're going to get 750 each day. So very similar to the last event. Let's be honest, it's a bit, a bit of a copy paste, you know, with some change to the images. And they did add one other thing we'll get to in a minute. But it's going to be very similar to the last event. So let's scroll down here and you can see the different rewards. So we're going to have the new heroes. We're going to have Genji, uh, San, no, it's not Cassandra, uh, Cynthia, um, Adela, Irene, and Feralina. You know, hero selection, not amazing. I mean, Cynthia is good. Uh, you know, I wouldn't mind getting some more copies of Adela. Genji, I really want to build Genji for bosses. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure I got rid of a few early on to upgrade some other heroes. Probably was a big mistake, but it is what it is. I do want to build a Genji. Also, they got the artifact. I mean, not the artifact. What do they call it? The ore bat. I'm very curious to see if you already bought the ore, if you can buy another one. Otherwise, it kind of makes this event better for those that already got the ore, because then you can use those resources on other things. And so I kind of appreciate that. I think these uh, spirit stones are too expensive. I still think I need to balance those. Those should not be a pay to win item. I believe they let you buy up to like 30. And I'm sorry, that's just that. I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't like that at all. I think that everyone should get the fair, you know, similar amount of spirit stones. It should not be, should not be a pay to win item, in my opinion. Of course, you can buy all these other things uh, that we had in the same as the same as the last event. Um, one different thing here is you got these coins. It looks like kind of like the prayer coins. We'll get to that in a second. So let's see here. Number one, during the event, you can collect the Hemacea, whatever you want to call it, via auto battle loot and participate in to participate in the Breeze Day event. You can use them to exchange for the Breeze Day coins and the Breeze Day praying, which is coming up here in a second. You can only use these for item redemption in the event. After the event, they can be sold in the backpacks. So I believe at that point that you get the same currency conversion rate um, as you get, you know, for using one. So you'll get 10k a pop if you need to sell them out of your bag. You cannot use them in another event. Now, this is an interesting thing. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work, but we got Breeze Day Praying Event. So choose the wish gift of you want. Interesting use of English. During the event, adventurers can enter Breeze Day Praying and click on the plus icon to choose the wish gift you want. So you guys see here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different spots to hit the plus. And then each wish gift group can only choose one and the plus button needs the adventurer to manually pick the gift. Click the item to reselect it. You can obtain the breeze coin from exchange during the event. And as you can see up here, they cost 500. So, you know, they're not giving much detail here. If you look at the current prayer wheel, you know, we have those different options that are easier to hit than other options. You know, this is probably going to be similar. I'm guessing the hero slot is going to be harder. Question is, you know, are we going to have some slots on here that are, you know, the two hour bag of gold and elixir? You know, I'm not going to want to spend 500 of my event currency to get a bag, a two hour bag of gold or elixir. So I really hope that these all of these spots are better than what's on, you know, the current prayer wheel. And hopefully it will be worth it. Otherwise, they may as well. Well, I guess you can still buy the regular prayer. So the regular prayer wheel, you know, you get spins for 300. You want to spin the event one's going to cost 500. So that's it's going to be interesting to see what exactly we can put on each of these slots. So then similar to last time, we got the packages. We got the uh, $5 package, $30 package and a $50 package. Uh, I want to feel I want to say the $50 package has more of the event currency in this time. Maybe all of them do. I'm not sure. I thought it was 13,000 last time. Um, So, I mean, I guess that's a plus side for, you know, whales pay to win folks and then we have another little preview for the night of wolves 
these are the new heroes these are all three tanks oliver lucas and Ryder. we talked about those earlier and that is it on the preview so hopefully i guess maybe tomorrow we'll get the patch notes and we'll get to see exactly what's changing and i'll probably do a quick video on that but we've gotten a lot of news recently so i wanted to go ahead and go over all of this I am glad that they're putting, a, you know, seems to be putting a good bit of effort into the game. Granted, this event is a bit of a copy of the other one. I believe the community support person also mentioned that we were looking at, you know, maybe two events a month. I think I'm okay with that. You know, if they are going to do that, I kind of hope they would stretch them across the two weeks. So we always have something going on, which would be nice. But I have to wait and see. I mean, the game is still early. They got plenty of time to add stuff and you know i'm still enjoying it hope you guys are still enjoying the game and i hope you guys are enjoying the content if you have any questions let me know down in the comments below and i will catch you guys in the next one